How ironic that the nation of Islam hates the Christian faith because their ancestors were carried on ships when Muhammad referred to a black slave as a ship. You're talking about my holy book in a, in a bad way, but I will yeah. not talk about your book because I believe in uh, believe in the Bible. I believe in the book of this, Jews, this, this. and that's what our uh, Islam told us. So you us. believe in the Bible? Not this, this Bible. This. The right oh, so he's, so he's just talked bad of no, the Bible. No, no. So do you, in that, is you, my Bible trustworthy? Uh, no, it's, it's there. You go. If that is an eternal law for all mankind in all places and in all times, that means that it is instituted within Sharia law to capture, to free, to buy, to sell, and to treat slaves. I think you're preaching hate, Bob. I'm preaching hate for critiquing their profit. So, okay, hold on. This is the mindset of the Dawah team. All right, well, Dawah but you team. cannot criticize their profit, otherwise you are a hate preacher. Hold but on. that never stops the Dawah team from critiquing the Christian faith. Are you ISIS? Why do you ask my ISIS? No, I, 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 I can answer your question. I can answer your question. They love ISIS. Why do you ask him? They love ISIS. He doesn't want to answer the question. You don't want to answer that. He doesn't. I'm not interested in your answer. I'm interested. I will answer your question in my own way. That's why he asked me that. I'm Muslim. That's why he asked me that. I'm Muslim too. Just tell him now. So tell him why ISIS is wrong. ISIS was a plan of last 25 years made by America, Britain, France, and you. He don't want fucking to my answer. I'm listening. I heard your answer. You know, your answer is that ISIS you know, is the, you know, the creation of America. Bye bye. So, so, bye -bye. so the Muslim you community, you didn't at like Speaker's Corner, you? want to blame the USA for ISIS oh, you should rather, than, rather than take you responsibility. Should Why are we going to take responsibility if ISIS are not of the Muslim <laughs> Why are you blaming of course, America? Of course, we have responsibility about that as well. We do take responsibility go and join But most of the responsibility is on you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Did a longer, a lot of yeah, American well. patriots. Oh, you didn't like his answer, did, did you? No, no, no. You I'm, I'm engaging with his answer, oh, which is something it. different from what you're doing. Oh, because you didn't, you didn't allow him to finish. I like his answer. You I said agree. the CIA, you no, said America. No, no, I didn't say the CIA. Agenda, I, I haven't finished my answer, but you don't like it. MI6. It's a nonsensical answer oh, right. by a community we don't talk about Quran. We don't that talk. don't want to take responsibility. Your pants on fire. I told them this is not really Your pants on fire. Your pants is a bomb. Is that, is, that a, is that a logical argument? Yes, it is. Let talk about Novichok. But he wants to. Novichok. I told him. 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 You didn't like it. So it had nothing to do with Islamists forming a network together. It's a politician conversation. What's conversation? It's nothing to do with politics. No, you don't. No, you're talking politics. Okay. No, no. My brother, you want to know the Islamist network? No, 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 no. They broke off, as I understand, no, no, no. from Al Qaeda. You want to talk to him? No, 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 no. With him? Me? Me with him? Why am I lost? Islam and politics are not one. desperately trying to blame everyone else for situations created from within my own community. Why do you blame Muslims about Islam? No, I don't blame all Muslims. I blame Islamists. My brother, let's be clear. I don't blame all Muslims. I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming Islamists. My brother, the Islamists I have a are a group of Muslims. My brother, listen to this. My brother, that's what I said. You're talking off at us. So be clear about what I'm saying. Can you leave him alone? My brother, my brother. Why are they not Muslims? My brother. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. My brother. Okay, so let's look at their actions and ask ourselves. Do you want to talk with me about it? Bye bye. My brother, I want to talk. My brother, my brother, no. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bob, you can't be taking the cameras away, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's go. We'll talk over here because we'll get heckled. We're trying to get the artist in there. I think we need to get a selfie stick too. I'm kind of like it. Because in Islam, there are certain rules to follow, which yes. are set in Quran and Sunnah. So yeah. if I don't follow these rules, he's not a Muslim. If he kills people, he's not a Muslim. Okay? And that's what I want. In Christianity, a person who doesn't follow the Bible, he's not a Muslim. He's not, sorry, he's not Christian. So that's what I want to explain. Okay. So let, let, let's look at some of the actions. I know like, firstly, I agree with you I got it right. that ISIS don't represent all Muslims. 
Yes, and Donald Islam. Uh, well, uh, this is what we're going to discuss. Yeah. But I agree with you definitely that ISIS don't represent all Muslims. Okay, I want to give you something. Like, allow me, allow no, no, me no, to... I, allow, I was in Saudi Arabia. One second. Yeah, allow okay. me to make a point okay, so and then we'll, we'll do an exchange. Yeah, okay. yeah, we don't have to talk over it. So I agree with you that ISIS does not represent all Muslims. I, I'm happy to give virtually every Muslim I meet yeah. the benefit of the doubt that they're not supporters of ISIS, though I have met Muslims who are. Yeah. Okay, even in this park. Okay, so my question to you is point to me three actions that you would say are, are not representative of Islam that ISIS do and therefore exclude them from the possibility of, of being Muslims. Okay, number three. One, yeah, they're, uh, number one, they are killing people. Number okay. two, yeah, in Saudi Arabia, from about one year, I was there and they were bombing mosques. Mosques are the holy places for praying. And, yeah. yeah uh, it was proved that ISIS did it. And in Medina, the holy mosque of Prophet Muhammad, it, it was like uh, bombed by them. So it's the second thing that they bombed most. Third thing that they kill like innocent people and they. You, you just yeah, said. Uh, yeah, okay, and they follow, they follow, them, uh, they follow another way, which Sorry. is... Sorry, you've, you've, you've essentially saying the same thing three different ways. Yeah. I'm asking you for three different things that they do. They kill people, is one. Yeah. They bomb mosques. Yeah. Does that mean bombing churches is okay? No, not okay. So bombing but, churches is wrong? No, yeah, bo bombing mosques to any place for worshipping God what about, in any different what way What about forcibly wrong? converting churches into mosques? Is that wrong? Yeah, it's wrong. Okay. Convert. What about, and then you said, what else? What else? Yeah, their mentality, what they are thinking about to conquer the world and to try to fear people, it's not in the Quran. Okay, all of these things are not in the Quran. Yeah. Tell me the last time, tell me, tell me the last time you saw an Islamic state, an Islamic society that you would say, this is genuinely Islamic. Uh, I, 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 Islam, I know it's Muslim people. Are you Shia or Sunni? No, I'm uh, Sunni. Sunni. But okay. I want to tell you something. In Quran, there's nothing, there's nothing called Shia or Sunni. There's a Quran that okay. you have to follow it, and then you are a Muslim. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So let, let, let's be clear. The the, the caliphate. <laughs> what, what was the last caliphate that you would look to and say this was an Islamic caliphate? Like the Ottoman caliphate, the Andalusian caliphate. The Umayyad Caliphate, the Caliphate set up by Muhammad. The Ottoman Caliphate, it was, yeah, there were... Was that an Islamic Caliphate? Okay. There were some uh, Caliphs who were doing wrong things. Okay. And the Caliphs, okay. okay. right. you said, you, right, so you've just said, and we all heard you, that the Ottoman Caliphate was a, whilst it had its failings at different times in history with different Caliphates, it was an Islamic Caliphate. And you said that the things that ISIS did that exclude them from being Muslim is that they killed people, they destroyed churches, sorry, they destroyed mosques and by extension destroyed churches and forcibly convert churches. And then and then we, the third one we never, never really pick one out, but let, let's no, find. I mean the, the what about kidnapping people? ISIS kidnap people. Yeah, right, oh, no. so now let's look at the Ottoman Caliphate and ask ourselves if the Ottoman Caliphate did what ISIS did, bearing in mind that you said that the Ottoman Caliphate not was an Islamic them, Caliphate. Let's yeah. just look at what the Ottoman Caliphate did. The Ottoman Caliphate kidnapped Christians yep. and formed an army called the Janissaries that was basically formed out of kidnapped Christian children. The Ottoman Caliphate forcibly destroyed and converted churches and the Ottoman Caliphate killed people. And the Ottoman Caliphate did this not at one point in its history, but for the entirety of its history. Every single caliph of that caliphate did it. So, could you give me like the years? So, what you need to look up, you can do it all now. Everyone can, can, can ask fact a question check on that me. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let us finish. Yeah. Everyone can fact check me right this second. Pull out your phones. Use your 4G and go and type in the word Janissary and see what comes up. How do you spell that? Janissary. J N I S S A R Y. Janissary. Janissaries. Family. Can, I, can I just ask you, you know you're making this statement that they done this, right, yeah, in the Ottoman Caliphate or whatever. Did they go and just enforce this on normal civilian people? Yes. 
just as any, they went to anyone's house and said, oh, do you know what? Because you're not Muslim, we're going to kill no, you. No, what they or, did is, what they so did. So they've done it under war no, or under defense let, let or something. Let me finish. Because let what me. you're saying is that we went round. Uh, something tells me you've not read the history, have you? I you haven't. didn't even know I the word janissary the before is, I told what, you. What I'm trying to say to you is that. <laughs> so you're trying to lecture me about something you don't even know about. I'm not going to lecture you. I'm not going to lecture I'm saying you're coming here to lecture people about old history, right? Right. Old, is it so current? Is, what is your is argument? It current? Is it current right now? Am I right? Hold on. So, it, can hold on, we, why can are you we, off one second. Question? Am I right? Yeah, they began as an elite, um, elite corps of slaves made up of kidnapped young Christian boys who were converted to Islam and became famed for internal cohesion, cemented by strict discipline and order. Thank you. Okay, no, that's the Janissary. No, okay, that is the Ottoman Empire. Okay, I will tell you. They, that, so, so what, hold on. No, 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 so now my question to you is this. They were an empire. And they did this in, uh, all the way through. Yeah. The, the, the period of the Ottoman Empire. They are not Empire. following the right way of the Are they not following it? So, 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 so point, point to me an example of a, a, a caliphate that you do believe in. Right, the caliphate of Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah. Right. So, Khattab, Uthman, Khattab, all of these things from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, till Uthman, Khattab. Okay. So let's look at Muhammad's example. Bearing in mind, Muhammad's caliphate collapsed. It failed. So it means the great system of Islam is a failure. I agree when he said about Janissaries, but yeah. I'm not sure. Where is the caliphate? Islam, I'm here. What's the best example? The one set up by Muhammad? It was changed after It's a perfect system, right? Yeah, it was changed after that there was a problem between uh, the uh, Umayyah and Abbasis. So you're yeah. So when, when, what happened look, when, when Muhammad was dying was that he excluded all Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. Yes. Do you know about the Christian colony in Najaf? No, no, I will tell you. Do you know about the Christian colony in Najaf? Who Where in Ghazwat al Ahzab war, the Jews were in Medina with Prophet Muhammad. And they were all over the Arabian Peninsula. No, not just in Medina. I'm talking about the Jews who were in Medina. No, I'm talking about towards Muhammad's death, he excluded Jews from the entirety of his caliphate, which was the united Arabian Peninsula. And he also excluded Christians in Najaf. No, the, the neighbor of Prophet Muhammad was a, a Jew. Do you know that? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and uh, that, you know, you can point to an example in his life. Yeah, right? And you can say. Uh, no, I'm not saying I will continue. But, but I, will, I will tell you. It's about what, what yeah, he commanded at the end no, of his maybe, life. No, I, I will tell you. Uh, I can anyone fact check me, please? Fact check me about whether Muhammad commanded that the Jews uh, and the Christians should be excluded from the Arabian Peninsula. But, but the yeah, argument about the Janissaries is that um, how does it relate to Islam? Yeah, how does it relate to Islam? Right, thank you. So the, so, the, so, so the point is, before you jumped in, bro, yeah, bro. is that I asked this bro, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, I asked this bro to tell me which caliphate he believed was a genuine Islamic one because we were discussing ISIS. And we were saying why ISIS aren't really Muslim. <laughs> They're, not. They're not. Right. And I They're accept not. that I ISIS again. don't represent most Muslims. No, no, I get that. I get that. Islam. But then when I asked you... Hold on one second. But then when I asked you to tell me a caliphate that you did think represented Islam, you said the Ottoman Caliphate. And then I pointed out that the Ottoman Caliphate were doing the things that the ISIS Caliphate were doing. So why is one Islamic and not the other? The Ottoman Caliphate built the churches in Egypt. At the end of the Ottoman Basically, Caliphate. So not all of the Caliphate, not all of the Khalifas at that time were right. No one, it cannot be. Shall I tell That's you? That's why it fall down. Do you know about the Pact of Umar? No. Right. Yeah. Shall I tell you? No. One thing. I want to oh, say. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying why ISIS are not in Islam because you cannot prove from the Quran that, yeah, that was the basis it's saying, of the conversation people, was how is can, ISIS uh, the, uh, Quran doesn't anything say, to do with Islam? Like, destroy churches. Quran doesn't say like to uh, terrify people and being terrorists. What about raping people? It doesn't say, it doesn't say that. I okay. have my Quran with me. Okay, right. Where does it say to rape people? Yeah, we'll look at that. We'll look at that. Okay, in Surah I really want to know where it says by the word of God, Allah to rape people okay. because yeah. I haven't seen that right. in any way. Say, say the right, so the, so, the question, so the question is where does the Quran permit rape? Now, before I begin, I want to say that in my experience, most Muslims have a better conscience than they do a deen. Their conscience contradicts their deen and they follow their conscience, not their deen. Thankfully, okay? But let's just think about what this verse is saying. Okay? Which verse is... Uh, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to one, one give second, one second. it. Yeah, attacking. There's people going like you that cause yeah, problems in the today. current day. I am going you know to that. give it. I am going to give it. Okay, so... Um, uh, you know that every verse of the Quran was revealed in a situation. 
Yeah. Every ayah of the Quran was revealed in a situation, in a yeah. circumstance. So I'm going to talk about the circumstance first that are in the hadith, and no, then we're going to go no, to the verse. Give, give me the verse. The yeah, the verse is Surah 4, verse 24. Okay? The situation in which this ayah was revealed was this one. Are you listening? The Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Atwaz on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. In a battle, They defeated them and took them captives. In a battle, Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant, are you all listening? Were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands. So is what that, uh, is it said Who in the were Quran? unbelievers. Is that it says in the Quran? So Allah the Exalted sent down the Quranic verse, Surah 4, 24, what is the name which of the reads, what's the, name of the woman, yeah. which the woman. reads, wait, wait, what verse is also <laughs> prohibited are women already married, listen, except, did you all hear that word? Already married, except, that means with an exception to the following category those whom your right hands possess so at the time of them as there in, were slaves at the if time, i right? own you as a female captive i can have sex with you regardless of whether you are married or not married no, to, the, to the right okay, hold on no, no, no. hold on hold on to the right hand to the right hand meant to someone who has ownership over a slave and to be a slave then in islam you have to agree to someone is not going to just take you and say you're my slave then not you you agree to slavery no no no, 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 no i don't no, agree to slavery but that was what it was wasn't in them no you're saying no, that no, i can agree to no, be your no, slave no it's not like that at, at them times yeah because that's what right. slavery was so his logic then. is that after a battle yeah. In other words, the Muslims imposed themselves on another community and took captives. He's saying that it was all by consent. No, no, I'm saying that's rubbish. how it was back then. Utter rubbish. I'm saying that's how it was back then, though. There was slavery no, back then. Is there slavery now? Okay. Is yes, there, is yes. Slavery now? in Sudan, in Saudi Arabia, in Chad, in Mauritania. now? Yes. Is this happening now? now? Where's Today. Your, where's your resource? Wait, wait, wait. Show us the proof. Go of today, no, go, go and look You're up. Silent, go no, and look silent. up. I'm not silent. Where, so where's your proof of today? Can someone fact check me, please? No, no, can you fact check, check me? Fact check me. See if it's still happening today. Fact check me. You show me. Come on, Google me. Ask me where slavery is still happening today. I want you to show me because I didn't bring it up. Right. I didn't bring it up. I want to bring up today's current issue of people like you. I think you're making a lot of noise to get around a topic. I think you're making a lot of noise to get around a topic. I think you're preaching hate, Bob. I'm preaching hate. No, for critiquing hate. their profit. So, okay, hold on. This Who? is the mindset of the Dawah team. All right, what Dawah that team? You cannot criticize their Dawah profit, team? otherwise, you are a hate preacher. Exactly. Hold on. But that never stops the Dawah team yeah. from critiquing the Christian faith. Right, hold on. For the they are crucified by their own logic. For the basis of the camera, for the basis of the camera, I'm not here to ha preach hate like Bob does, yeah? Why is it hate? <laughs> because you're trying to cause a division in this community. Hold on, who here is Muslim? Put your hand up. Muslim, do you do you con do you agree with people captiving women and raping them without the consent? No. Hold on. So hold on, hold on. Hold on. For any Muslim, any Muslim in today's current world. Bob, silent, shut up man, shut up. Today in the current world, no Muslim is gonna is gonna agree to that, alright? He says that, but what did ISIS do? Bingo. Who is ISIS? What did ISIS okay, do? So this goes back to this hold on. Hold on. Thank you. This goes they back. followed Muhammad. Hold on. Bingo. They Bingo. took female so captives no, and then they no. raped them. Let Assyrian Let Christians exactly. were raped exactly. by ISIS and ISIS used this very yeah, verse and this very hadith yeah. to justify their actions. Yeah. Now I agree. I agree. He doesn't agree with this kind of behavior. He's a good man. Yeah, his conscience yeah, he's, he's is better than his book. So I agree with him, but I'm not going to agree with you. His conscience is better than his book. You cannot bomb lick me, Bob. But his book no, 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 permits this no, kind no, of slavery. No, 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 no. Come on, Bob. No, no, no. Listen, let me think. Right, hold on, hold on. Okay, he says, he says, he says, he says, he says, let's try to advance the argument. 
let's try to advance the argument. Because the defence that is being made yeah. is that these women consented. Is that what you're going to try and argue? No. That these women consented to have sex with their Muslim overlords? No. It wasn't rape. No. So it was rape? No, it wasn't rape. <laughs> Did they but, consent? Yeah, but it, because it Did was they consent? after the war. Did yeah. they consent? So did, they, look, did, did, did they give did permission armies, to have did, sex did with these armies, Muslim did overlords? Did yes or armies no? of all countries back in them times get He's not answering the any question. Women they rape. Hold on, hold on. Right. I'm did, asking you a simple question. Did any army, did any army, did they did consent? Did yes any army or no? consent against any consent? country? Right. The word consent means that they ha give permission to have sex. Hold on, Who did any country? No, female captives. Did any captive in any to their Muslim masters? Have yes, sex yes, with them. No, they didn't give. Per so that brother. is rape. No, brother. Thank I'm you. Continue, my that answer. is rape. No, they didn't any, give. They told me because why they were in war. Me, Bob. Bob, this, Bob, were taking, Bob, why are you ignoring uh, me? After men. So after taking them as uh, after the war. After taking them, yeah, as slaves. No, as not as slaves. They were treated as another. Uh, like, well, not slaves. Yeah. So they weren't captives. Hold on. No. Hold on. They weren't Bob. captives. No. Bob. Bob. Okay. Bob. So they were. They, Bob. They were, Bob. were they captives? Yeah. They were, of the war. So they were captives. Yeah, but it was by their uh, FB. Were captives by consent. In Islam, no. if So they consented. I don't think anyone yeah. is being captive. Right. Now, now listen to the argument. Has given consent. So you listen the to the argument. argument. Because they were as. Uh, if they did that, so they are married. So listen to the argument. The argument is they gave consent. Who, who's making that, that is argument? the defense. Who's making that argument? But listen defense. carefully. Listen carefully. Were reluctant to have intercourse with their female captives in the presence of their husbands. Which means they're married. that Muhammad condoned adultery. He condoned a woman having sex with another man in the presence no, of on, their hold husband. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they exchange on. one sin adultery for another sin. Adultery is condemned in the Quran. For adultery. Adultery is condemned in the Quran. Can anyone prove that They didn't want to read them. But then Muhammad said... No, he didn't say that. It's not in the Quran. Can you show where they were alone? They show me the Quran. I want to say that. Doesn't it mean that they didn't want to read them? Right, so... Why are you saying they did when it so says that they're saying that they, they were They didn't. And then listen to the injunction that comes from Allah. Okay. Why are you creating right? your own interpre yeah. interpretation? Yeah. Also yeah, prohibited you know I mean? are he's women his, already he's married, his, his own except those whom your right hands possess. Which means Allah is giving permission to these Muslims to have sex with their female captives. By marriage, you now, no, if you read tafsir, there is something called tafsir which explains the Quran. They are married already, it says, this is in not the, the presence Quran. This of is, their this, husband. This is not the Quran. Does the Quran. Islam That's permit a woman Quran. to have more That's than one the husband? The Quran, man. This is the Hadith, Abu Dawood, 2150, and Sahih al Muslim, 343. Three. So these Muslims didn't want to rape the women. They were reluctant to rape them, so they didn't want to do it. They that's were reluctant. Says. So they didn't want to. But then they well, did. So, they, so that's they good for them, isn't it? They're they obviously did. good people if they, they didn't did. want to rape them. They it did. didn't say they were willing to rape them. It says they were reluctant. So right. isn't that, isn't that a positive way. thing? Right. Do you want you, you now? The I brother is saying. You, you, the brother is saying yeah. that, that, that this evidence says that they didn't rape them, uh, but he's not listening. So. They were reluctant. It doesn't mean they didn't. Well, right, listen, they I'm did. just going to say one statement. Because, because listen, hold on, hold on. This is from in the, the Quran, in Surah, in, in Surah 4, 24, I'm read you one statement also from Hadith, prohibited right? are women one already sentence. married, except those whom your right hands possess. In other words, you have permission to have sex with people that are not married. Right, so you However, on. let us bring this home. Let us bring this home because we have an even clearer uh, Hadith. Which verse is that? Is that the one that directly follows That's the one you Surah 424, no, which is, is not, the context this is in which Quran. this hadith was revealed. So that's this hadith, hadith, no, this hadith, hadith, hadith is, is the si gives the situation. Is, what is this? this, this is brother, is brother. This, this is the Quran. Okay. This is not from the Quran. This is a hadith. I've given you the reference. It's Sahih Muslim 3433. Keep up. Okay, so it's so, the Quran. It has been narrated. This is another hadith. So you're not reading from the so Quran. So I'm taking from the Quran. I'm from the Quran. No, it's not the Quran. No, no, sorry, not the Quran. No, you don't get Islam, bro. No, no, no. Hadith, hadith, you don't get Islam, bro. Or you don't get Islam. You don't get Islam. So if the hadith so is an interpretation of the Quran, yeah. they are used oh. by yeah, Muslims to interpret the Quran. Just to make it clear. Yeah, he doesn't. No, make it clear. I think everyone is clear about what I'm reading from because I've been giving my source. So, I'm going to read more. Do something from the 
Quran. No, no, no. Rape is Quran. considered a serious yeah, sexual crime in Islam. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Go on. In the Quran, right? Yeah. And can be defined in Islamic law as forcible illegal sex. This is not the Quran. This is not the Quran. This is your you're you're, you're re reading anyway, a commentary. Anyway, you're reading an opinion. By a man with a woman who is not legally married to him without, without her free consent. No, it's not hadith. It doesn't have the hadith. So he's using hadith while criticizing me for using hadith. It was a people in Tafsir. It was a Tafsir reading. What is your belief on the Tafsir? He's there. In the Quran. There, yes. Read it from the Quran. I'm going to. I'm going to. And then you have some. I'm going to. I am going to. I'm going to. I am going to. Okay, Surah 2433. Surah 2433. I agree what you're saying as being a true. Be listening carefully, bro. Because you've been lied to. You have been well, lied to. By, you, by, you, by who? Right, <laughs> listen. Surah 24, ayah 33. Reads. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity in order that ye may make a gain in the goods of this life. But, are you listening? But, if anyone compels them Yet after such compulsion is Allah of forgiving most merciful. So what does that mean? What does that what are you mean? going on now, bro? What does, no, what does that mean? <laughs> so, he doesn't even what know what it means. Force you don't not know your what means. to which, prostitution no, no, which verses, which verses? when they but desire again, chastity. From the start. Say from the start. In order that ye may make you may so make a gain in the goods of this so life. commanding you not to force your women into prostitution. Thank you. But, 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 listen, listen, listen. but if listen. anyone compels them in war against Islam, after such compulsion, Allah will be off forgiving most merciful. In other words, don't do it. But if you do, Allah will forgive you anyway. No, it doesn't. No, no, not no it doesn't, bro. No, no. So no, it doesn't. Surah, that is your own interpretation. Of it. That is your own interpretation of it, Bob. I don't understand why you. Can I ask you a question? What is your problem with Islam? What is your problem with Islam? This is a commentary on this verse. Surah Saba, yeah. In Dashti, page what is, what is the fifty. What is the name? Oh, but but you are interested in commentary when it legitimates Islam. No, no, no. I'm interested in what it says. But not when it doesn't legitimate. I'm not a Muslim. I've just given you. I've just given you the ayah in the Quran. Yeah, in the Quran. Let's see how Muslims interpreted that verse. Which surah? Which surah? That was Surah twenty-four and Nur. I am no, 33. Yeah, so While you're let finding read that, it now. No, yeah. let, you've read your version. Okay, yeah, let yeah, him yeah, read yeah. his one and tell you yeah. what it says. By right? the way, this is not my version. This is a version tr interpreted so what the by Muslims. What about the white stickers? This is a Muslim version so of the Quran. What are the white stickers? Okay. What are these white stickers? I'm going to read it to you. I'm asking you, what are they? Al Dashti, a what humane and salutary injunction. I'm not asking what it says, I'm asking what is this white sticker? Are you listening? You no. I'm asking you to He ask doesn't want to listen. He's asking a question, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't want to listen. All right, so what I am trying to tell you what the white stickers are, but you're saying you don't want to you're listen after answering the, answer the you're question. reading the white stickers. So, the white stickers yes, listen, are further commentary by from Hadith and Muslim sources. From where? From where? Muslim sources. So, for example, this one is by Ali Dashti, and he on Surah 24, Ayah 33, says this. A humane and salutary injunction in Surah 2433 shows that a cruel and immoral abuse was practiced at that time. Obviously, the verse prohibits the vile practice of slave owners who prostituted their female slaves and pocketed their proceeds. And no less obviously, the words God after, sorry, the words God after their coercion is forgiving and merciful. Mean that God pardons slave girls for having unwilling committed fornication. The outward form of the words, however, is such that they can be taken to mean that God is forgiving and compassionate to men who prostitute their female slaves. So in other words, Muslims are having to reinterpret the plain meaning of the text to get their profit out of the embarrassment of legitimizing 
prostitution of female slaves. And that isn't me saying it, that is a Muslim scholar saying it. So now we're going to read what you said. What? 54? Chum, chum. Surah 24. Anur, yeah? Ayah 34. 33. 33. Here's the, it's why, why, are you, why are you fueling these terrorists? One, one you're giving them reasons to do it. Who am why I are you fueling terrorists? Why are you? Why are you you're what? fueling what? So, in your mind, in my mind, right. in your mind, yeah. a legitimate critique of Islam is fueling terrorism. No, it's not. A, how is that of Islam? You have just said to me, you're, it's no, 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 you're based you're, upon my critique my of actions, your religion, my of that I am fueling. Who go, who Who's the extremist Islam? terrorist? We're reading the Quran. Go and go and look. This is what the Quran. So you're telling, you're telling me I'm not quoting the magazine of ISIS. ISIS. Hey, hey. I'm quoting your holy bro, book. No, it's wrong. I have to quote here. This bro. is your holy bro. book. My holy book tells me not to rape women. My holy book tells me not to catch women, mate. 34. Yeah. 34. Yeah. 34. وَلَقَدْ أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكُمْ آيَاتٍ مُبَيِّنَاتٍ وَمَثَلٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ يَدْخُلُ وَمَثَلٌ مِنَ وَمَثَلٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْا مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمَوْعِظَةُ الْمُتَّقِينَ Here's could you read that? This is the translation. I've got the translation right here. No, it's the wrong. Oh, it's the wrong translation. In other words, it's a translation that embarrasses my religion, and so it's wrong. No, could you read The only legitimate translation are those that make my religion look good, not look bad. We have our book, which is why don't you hear one. the translation? No, I have the we translation. Have down clear instructions on. to you, yeah, an illustration from yeah. of those who have gone before you, yeah. and warning for those who take head heat for themselves. This is the ayah. You are getting another ayah with another. Thing. What does that say? And no, 34. Here is it. If anyone Are the cameras? Say for the cameras. Show the cameras. Show the camera. Here is it. Surah Al Nur. Surah Al Nur. Al Nur. And then show you on your phone. Al Nur, 34. Here is a He's accusing me of lying. I'm holding yeah. the book in my it's hand. It's not this. Uh, it's this not this. The Quran, and this is Surah Nur. Surah Twenty Four. Surah Ayah Thirty Three. This is the actual now, Quran. I have the translation. I just by said that. You said Thirty Four. You said you, you don't just listen. said Ayah Thirty Three. Yeah. You, you don't, don't listen. listen. Before he said Ayah Thirty Three. You know why you don't listen? It's because you no, sound too much. No, I'm listening. <laughs> you need to relax. You need to relax. So let's return to this brother's comment. Why are you fueling terrorists? Why am I fueling terrorism? Yeah, why are you fueling terrorists? So in this brother's mind, a critique of You're his holy them book. A reason. No, no, oh, no, go, go on, go on, finish that You're sentence. Them, You're giving them a reason to yeah. go and rape women. Whereas right. we're giving you a reason that we can... Did you all hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read from their holy book oh, yeah, yeah. and they said... Translation. Uh, this is my, not... They, all right, but okay, I want to... Don't touch. The Holy Quran translated by Abdullah Yusuf. Abdullah Yusuf. That's a real Christian name. Bro, so what? Yeah, so what? it's all a giant so what? Christian name. That's why he doesn't say the Holy Quran. He doesn't say the Holy Quran. It's all a giant Christian. Jewish conspiracy. The Holy Quran Notice what he here. said. This is the Holy I read Quran. from their holy book no, it's not no, holy and they said no, the that I'm giving an excuse to terrorists it's, 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 to rape it's, it's, women. I said that it's my, it's my holy book. I said it's a translation of the Quran. Notice, ladies and gentlemen, what does the book say? whenever the Muslims find a translation that causes them difficulty so again, about mind. their Quran, no, no, no. they yeah. simply throw the translation under the book. So let us move this argument forward. No, no, hold on, let, I want to say something. Move. I want to say something. Yeah, okay, I'll but let you reply the, to this no, point no, and then we'll move I'm the argument I'm going to reply to, the, to, to what you're saying. I'm going to make a Show, statement for the benefit that, of the tape. Move, because you seem to come here and make it look like we are all agreeing with rape and capturing Muslims. No, I don't. So why, why is your no, point? No, I of, don't. Okay, so why do you, you don't listen, do you? Hold on. No, you don't listen. What I said was, <laughs> Muslims' opinion. conscience okay, is better opinion. than their book. Okay, hold so on. I said exactly the opposite okay, okay. of Have what you, you accused so me I, of. Are you finished? Have you finished? Have you finished? Have you finished? So whatever you said today about raping yep. and capturing, yep. which Muslim in this park has agreed that it was right? Abdul Hakim. Is he in the park? Where is he? <laughs> no, he's not here today. Hello? Any Muslims? Again? Yep. And again, for the benefit of the tape, hold on. Muslims put your hand hold on. Up. One second. All the Muslims put your hand One up. second. Do you agree with women being raped? No. no. Not Do, you agree? Do you agree? Not Shut not up, bro. Capturing right females. No. Right, right, one right, second. Yeah, they contradict their own book. None yeah. of them. They don't want to believe in their own book. Yeah. And I agree with them. It is 
That's good that you don't agree with your own bird. In the Quran, good that you don't agree with your own bird. In the Quran, it says not to hate Muslims. Your conscience condemns you. There are people like him that make people like you hate Muslims. We're all good people. We are prick. You're a prick, mate. You're not a hate preacher. Okay, we hate preacher, bro. I don't know. Hate preacher, bro. But if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion, is Allah off forgiving the most merciful? Yeah, he will forgive the woman, not the guy. Okay, and that's why, why I read. That is why I read Ali Dashti, who wrote. I, I don't care who Ali Dashti. God said. Do you listen? Do you listen? Read the Quran, brother. Listen. Up, One I Muslim is arguing with a Muslim scholar. No. Yeah. Yeah. According yeah. to yeah. Islam, yeah. who we do you condemn, believe? We condemn people. Any like man and his opinion or the ulama. Who are you told to believe? Who, uh, who told Allah. You the Quran tells Allah. you believe Allah. to Allah. obey Allah. Allah. Allah, His Prophet, Allah. and those who are placed in authority above you. No, no, Allah. And Allah. those no, no, placed no, no, in authority no, no, above no, no, you are no, 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 he's not, he's not reading from the Quran. He's reading from some yeah. 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 There isn't even a prophet. And the Hadith. And Muslim scholars. I'm tell you, people like you fuel terrorists, mate. I disagree with him. I don't believe he's right. I believe he's wrong. I'm standing here. Why are you propagating it here? Why are you propagating it here? You're saying that we should be doing this. Why are you causing the division? You are propagating Let me answer this question. Muslims here. You are propagating to the Muslims. Let me answer this question. We have it on record, on camera, and you can see it on SoCo films. I have stood in front of Muslims who have attempted to justify the slave trade. No. I have stood in front of Muslims who have attempted to justify marrying children and having Why sex with them. No, no, no. I have Why stood you shouting? in front of Muslims. Why are you shouting? Let me ask you this question. Why are you shouting? So, Why are you shouting? Your argument is they gave argument. consent. That's why I shouted. Our argument was about ISIS and you took it to Islam and you are talking about my holy book in a, in a bad way. But I will yeah. not talk about your book because I believe in, uh, believe in the Bible. I believe in the book of yes, Jews, yes, yes. and that's what our uh, Islam told us. So you us. believe in the Bible? Not this yes, Bible, the right Ah, so he's, so he's just talked bad of no, the Bible. No, so do you, that is you. my Bible trustworthy? No, it's... it's there you go. So he but says, not I'm not going mind. to talk bad about your book, yeah. Yeah. but if I say my book is trustworthy, he says, no, it isn't. The double and standards saying, of the Dawah team, what Dawah again team, man. and again what Dawah team, man. exposed. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Hold on. So, so, and you're so, the so where, why have you got that subject? Why have you took him you away from the other Congo? Yeah, yeah. Did ISIS rape their wait, female don't captives? Don't say, don't say. ISIS, they are not... Then I am a Muslim. And I am not Islam. I will not talk about ISIS because ISIS doesn't represent me. We don't stand for ISIS. I don't know. Did they? We don't stand for ISIS, brother. I know you don't. So why? So why are you using don't. ISIS as an example of Muslims? Yeah. I am using the fact that ISIS hold on, hold on. justified their actions from the we are telling you I am we are telling, we are telling you as Muslims that ISIS are not following the... Tell me a caliphate. Why are you biting him? Why are you biting him? Hold on. Why are you associating Muslims with ISIS? Thank you very much. This is I don't done. associate Muslims with ISIS. Yes, you have. Yes, you yes, yes, you have. Why, why, why don't you talk about the Muslim uh, religion rather than talk... Yes. And I, I am. The Quran. No. My, my personal... Is I am. No, 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 you, you weren't here at the beginning of this conversation. You were not here at the beginning of this conversation. This conversation oh, is if, if, if I want to defer to your elder. I want to forget about religion. Yeah, that's what completely. There should be my no opinion, religion. my opinion, no my opinion. Religion, religion, religion is all a lot of same. crap. All it is putting one god against another Absolutely. god. My god is better than your god, and the result of that you get wars and people getting killed. In, in the Second World War, we believed in God, the Germans believed in God, but no, they we were still fighting one another. The no, the Nazis no. didn't. I'm talking about the German people did. Okay? And most wars, and if you look in Northern Ireland, if my God is better than your God, 
Any way you go, it's all been about my God is better than your God. The quicker you do away with religion, the quicker you do away with war. Uncle, may I reply? Uncle, uncle, may I reply? So, in, in terms of a reply to what you're saying, okay? I'm just saying, history, 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 because he's older than me. Wow. Because, yes, it's respectful. It's good respect for you. Respect will you everyone. let me talk to the uncle? Yeah, I will let you, you, but you cannot choose right, to respect so uncle, him because he's older so, than me because I'm a human being. So, no, uncle, no, uncle, so the point that I'm making to you. I'm not uncle, I'm not your uncle. We, we you call, we call, My name's Peter, I'm not no, old Peter. Man. If you want to be called Peter, I'll call you Peter. I might be 80 years of age, but I don't treat me like an old man. We call, we call everyone. We, it's not patronizing, we call he's everyone uncles who's older than us. This is a normal thing in a church. So when we meet who are older than us, we call them uncle as a sign of it's worse. It's fucking worse. Okay, I'll call you Peter. Okay, so Peter, in terms of the history of this discussion, the history goes back further than World War II. Europeans have a history that is much older than modern history that we get to in school. Right, but the, but the point is, the point is, for over 1400 years, Islamic empires have tried to conquer Europe. And in so doing, and they have subjugated hey, the Christians. Do you know the history? The history? The they they were Christians they were helping they were persecuted the Christians. Ramping and pillaging. They, they were Christians the helping. All in the name of religion. Peter, you don't know your history. And robbing. Peter, you don't know your history. Go to your, your history. What were they doing? Your, Peter. Peter. Here, I'm afraid, Peter, you don't know. What were they doing in India? Peter. Peter, you're, you're, okay. I'm not going to speak to. I can't talk to Peter. He doesn't want to listen. So no. So anyway. So where's my What about the world, brother? So uh, what? What? What I would say to you? Yeah. The, the whole point. He doesn't need help, man. This guy's talking rubbish. The whole point of what we're talking about is we started the discussion based upon ISIS. Yeah. yeah. And I took it to the other way. I told you yeah, to prove that the Quran says to kill people. You didn't prove. You want me to show you where it says kill but people? But only the person. Oh, 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 he said, "Show me where." No, I have the Quran. Show me. I will show me that before you open the surah. I want to see. Come on, this has been done. It's been done. It's been done. This debate has been done, isn't it? Let's talk about where it says the Quran say commands people. So, he's reading a translation. Go and read a Quran. Even English. Read a Quran. Which one? Am I reading an English translation right now? By you. By you. By a Muslim scholar. A Muslim linguist. By, translated by Abdullah Yosef Ali. Yeah? Now notice, they say to us, we who are English speaking, that we must learn Arabic. Who said that? I say to you, why can Arabic. God not speak in my own language? Why must I subjugate no, myself to Arab no, 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 imperialism no, no. So like you have? The I'll answer the question. Why? I'll answer the question, I'll answer the question to protect yourself. All right, so yeah, to protect myself. Yeah. So like to protect myself. To protect myself, who can lie to people, so to so people rape women. So a Muslim was lying. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. That's why you should learn Hebrew. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. A Muslim was lying about his own holy book. So he says, he says, he says that I have to learn Arabic to yes, protect myself. So that you can read it I would say culture, that as Christians we have something better than the Quran. Because God revealed himself in our Lord Jesus Christ Calvinism, as we have Calvinism. a man. Oh, no, Calvinism. Calvinism. As a man. Calvinism says and you can as read a man, man and your name can't it be means blotted out. Calvinism we were able to tell his story, to deliver his message, to deliver his message, and because, to deliver his message. And because it is a story about a man, it means that those stories can be translated. In other words, in other words, the Christian revelation is more universal than the Quran. How? The Quran forces those of us who are not Arabs to submit, submit ourselves to Arab imperialism. How? No. And we how? see how? Hold on, how? Arab. How? I will demonstrate. What about the Church of they England? Ask me how. Who's the head of the Church of England? Allow me Who's to the head demonstrate. Of the Church of England? demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. Demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. Henry VIII said he was God. They asked Imperial. how. No, no, no. I'm asking you. They asked how. I'm asking you. Uh, hold on. Hold they on. asked 
How? Hold on. Hold on. You asked Hold on. how. Yeah, I'm living finished. So I'm question. going to answer my the question. question. Is in finish. My question isn't finished. Arab imperialism. My question isn't finished. No, it was about you, you asked how. You asked answering what you want. You asked you how. Are answering what People you want. People can decide for themselves if I'm making so up an answer. So are you going to just talk over me and talk, uh, answer what Because you, you ask the question no, and then you answering? don't want to listen to an answer. Why are you answering? Do you want to hear an answer to the question how? How what? Do you want to hear a question to the... Do you want to hear an answer to the question how? How yeah. what? How why you? How does what Arab does imperialism demonstrate itself through the spread of Islam? In today's, in today's, in today's world, world. Okay, I right. will give you an example from someone at Speaker's Corner, Hi. Hi. a Jamaican, Afro-Caribbean, who converted to Islam, suddenly tries to start speaking in Arabic with an Arabic accent, speaking in English dresses as an Arab man, starts praying in Arabic to an Arab city following an Arab prophet. If that isn't Arab imperialism, hold on guys. I don't know no, no, hold on. what is. So did he do that? Did he do that? Did someone force that on him? Or did he do that on his own choice? He did that because the best way to be a Muslim oh, is like being Mohammed. No, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't mind. You're not answering my question. It was a free choice. Did he, so he doesn't have his it own choice. It wasn't imposed. So was it forced on him? It wasn't so imposed. So does your statement stand correct? No. Shut up. Right. Shut up. So, Shut up, bro. Let me ask you, you this shit. question. No, no. You can't see nothing now. I'm going to talk now. This the man here, face. this man here the preaches hate. Everybody he around. says that I preach hate, oh, no. so in no, his no, mind, no, 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 no. any criticism of his book is hate speech. So do you have good things to say about Islam? If there are good things do to you, say, do you, do I will you. say them. So do you have anything good to say about Islam? Do I have to say something yeah, good? Yeah, because I want to know. Oh if yes, you're a hate I do. I want to know if you're a hate Why do I have to say but something asking, good about I'm Islam? Asking you, I'm asking you your own opinion of Islam. There are good things I can say so, about Islam. So you agree there are good things of Islam? There are. So but they are outweighed by the bad things. How? Well, how many bad things compared to good things? Okay, one, Islam legitimizes slavery. No, no, that no, is no, bad. No, 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 he says he doesn't no, legitimize no, slavery. No, stop your voice. No, stop your no, voice. No, I'm going to talk about your opinion. Oh dear. I'm going to talk about your opinion. Oh dear. What's your opinion, mate? Not this book. What's right. your opinion? See, he's writing the book. So, hold on. How many he Muslims do you take a slave in today? Shut up, man. Shut up, Islam does not justify slavery. Waste time, bro. Waste your time, bro. Say that. If one. That is true. Close your book. Then where your book. Islam has dominated, That's your opinion, mate. we can expect that Islam would have ended slavery. But let's look at the evidence. This guy took so much. End. End. Cut off. All the Abrahamic religions. Islam was so now this book is his opinion. Was only banned in 1952. All of them. In Iran, slavery was only banned in 1929. Show the camera the Iran. Show the camera. Show the camera the Joffrey. In Iran, handwriting. Check his handwriting out. He's reading his handwriting, bro. Only banned slavery in 1924. Bro, you're just as bad as I am. Islam. Only banned slavery in 1920. What about Christianity? What about Christianity? In Egypt. What about Christianity? Banned slavery. What about Christianity? I'm going to answer the question. What about Christianity? What about Christianity? Are you going to listen to the answer? Do you want to hear the answer? No, no. The question. Speak up, you wimp. The question. The question was. The bad points of Christianity. The bad points of Christianity. In AD. The bad questions. In Pope John VIII. I asked for the bad points of Christianity. Of other Christians as slaves. What about the bad points of Christianity? In 96, 960 AD. The Doge Pietro. The fourth, burn slavery outright in 1080. 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 In 
slavery. Answer the question. Guys, man, you got to go. Where does the Bible say? Slavery. Does the Bible condone slavery? Does the Bible condone slavery? If you're in his own kind, is he man? The Bible does condone slavery. The suffering of the Bible condones slavery. The Talmud condones slavery. You to the end of God. Slavery. No, all all the Abrahamic surgeons can go day slavery. Because it was in the time, slavery was slavery. It was slavery. It was not current now, mate. Stop dividing us. Stay away from the tent. Stay away from the tent. Stay away from the tent. So, so the biggest the fourth century, century. He Christianity, he burn he slavery, and a time when Muslims who are following Islam were still practicing slavery. Thank you. Hold on, Julia. Can I ask you a question, Bob? I'm going to answer his question first. He's talking to someone. I want to ask you. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to ask you. How do you see the government? How many countries and religions in historic times He can't prove what he has just said. He's just saying things from the internet. I can't prove what he has just said. Like saying, okay, since you can kill people, I can kill people. No, so killing is fine. That is their logic. No, that's that not the logic, logic of the Dawah team. That's not the What Dawah team? So, so, talking to a man who's not even Muslim is in Dawah team. No, we've already seen him on camera. We know he's sympathetic to the Dawah team. So, but how does that make him... What's wrong with your problem with the Dawah team? I don't know. I created the Dawah team for myself. My problem with the Dawah team... So, my question to you. No, no. My problem with the Dawah team... Answer my question. He can't answer my question, bro. He can't, he can't answer my question, bro. He can't answer my question. What about the Aboriginals? How many different countries and religions break women in the Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. No one's listening to you, Bob. The brother asked the question. Thank you. We are trying to listen, and people don't want you to shout. You are shouting in his face. You are shouting in my face. I'm going, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. About it. So, in the in the Christian scriptures, we read this because it is true that just like Islam, Christianity was also born in a time when slavery was normal. But now you agree to what I was saying earlier. Do you notice they don't want to listen? This is what he was doing to us. This is what he's doing to us, isn't it? Do you want to hear my answer? Yes. yes. You've got to speak up, guys, because yes. these two are deaf. No, I said yes. Do you yes. want to hear my answer? I said yes. 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 Do you want to yes. hear my answer? Yes. 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 So, um, so the, qu the, qu the people no. want you to be quiet. No, no, no. We say yes as well, Bob. Listen. Listen. Yes as well, Each Bob. man must remain in the condition in which he is called. He's talking about your status in society, whether you're aristocrat, slave, freeborn, etc. Were you called whilst a slave? Do not worry about it, but if you are able to do so, become free. If you're able the to do apostles. So. What if you're not able to do so? Then you have to stay a slave. Oh, right, so the Bible does condone slavery. But it commands you to so seek can... your freedom oh. wherever you can. So yeah. Show me something like that in the Quran. In the oh, Quran. Oh, 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 hold on. Show me something like that in the Quran. Go on, find it. Can I have a fact check? Can you Google? No, no, hold on. Bible verses that condone slavery. When it commands slaves to find their freedom. That's why the church is Show me. Show me. For 400 me. years, have you got a verse? Have you got a verse? Yeah, because the Bible. Oh, he hasn't got a verse. <laughs> he hasn't <laughs> got a verse. Another Muslim, please. You'll find you many, many verses. Islam? No, no, the Bible condones slavery. He's talking about the Bible. He hasn't got a verse. He's talking about the Bible. He's not a Muslim. Why are you asking him to show you a verse? I'm not a Christian either, but I'm not my Bible. Why are you asking him to show you a verse in the Quran? 
fact check, you'll have loads and loads of verses. I'm not going to show you that because I haven't even memorized the Quran. But what I'm going to tell you as a Muslim, what I'm going to tell you as a Muslim. Where is the verse in the Quran that commands slaves to find their freedom? The Bible commands Christians who are slaves to find their freedom if they can. Yes. The if they can, oh, yeah. which means you try to be free. Muslim, Muslim Show me something in the Quran. Okay. Try to be free. Show me why in the Quran. The, why doesn't it tell the truth? They're known as to free their slaves. So, why doesn't Muslims, it command them to free their slaves? Muslims are told. Doesn't. Muslims so are told. Slavery. Slavery. Muslims let, us, are, let us look a bit more at this. Don't slavery. Let, us, let us look at this. This is what they are saying. You're telling me to shut up earlier. See what he does. Okay, so Muslims are told from Hadith and Quran. Oh, no, you want to use Hadith. Earlier. He didn't like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, go on. So anyway, by hadiths and Qurans which are teachings, all right? So let me change my wording. Muslims are taught by teaching that if you have a slave and the slave requests... Okay, now you see, you're the Siri. Go on. All right, so Muslims are told if you do have a slave and the slave requests to be free, you free him. Which surah, which hadith? I'm going to show you, exactly. I'm going to show you the scripture now. No, but no, no, I said it first, you know yeah, why? Yeah. Where's okay. your verse? Okay. Hold on, can I finish talking? Where is your okay. verse? Now, show me the passage. Did I not just say I'm going to get the passage? Yeah, yeah. Right, go find the passage. Okay. So I'm going to carry on talking, bro. Oh, the only reason I finished talking is because it's people like him that says we believe in keeping slaves and not freeing them. Okay. But we don't, we don't get taught that. Okay. So we don't get taught to not okay. free people. So now, please, do you believe that Muslim don't get taught not to free slaves? No, this is your no. I, I believe Muslims are told to free Muslim slaves. Thank Muslim slaves? Yes. What about non-Muslim slaves? There are certain circumstances in which a non-Muslim slave can also be free. But Islam so agree that legitimizes that slavery. Hold on, do you agree that we free slaves? You can free slaves. So, Do you agree that Islam in Sharia institutes and governs the practice of slavery? No. Um, to be honest, my own opinion and my, my knowledge, I can't give you the answer. Okay. So I will research it. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to argue so, with you. I'm going to raise your voice. He was. He was. He was. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not shouting at you. I am not shouting at you. So I want to ask you. No, no, one on. second. You can't talk over no, me. No, no, I haven't finished. No, one second. Three minutes ago. I'm passing. I'll give you one second. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Yeah, one second. I'm not finished. Can you respect that? No, no, you were speaking to me a moment ago. Yes, so I'm not finished. And you made a point and I am addressing the point. Your question was, ask this brother. Oh, no, you can't turn away. I'm still talking governs the practice of keeping slaves. And I just said, ask the brother, you can ask me yourself like you did. Maybe he knows. I don't, I, the, topic the topic that we were talking, sir, sir, the topic that we were talking about was about ISIS. So and you were preparing to talk about Muslim and our Quran. It was an episode a moment ago. I wasn't an expert. No, we're getting It is a ridiculous statement. You're literally saying law, law, because that's what Sharia means. Okay. That's just my shit. That's it. That's my thing. That's fine. That's fine. So if you go back five minutes in your tape, he said with his own mouth, "Can you show me something that says that Islam doesn't free slaves?" And a minute ago, he just agreed that Muslims and Islam. Away from my yes, sorry, sorry. So he, a minute ago, he just agreed that Muslims do free slaves and are taught to free slaves. So why are you contradicting so, yourself? Do you notice That's something? the question. Can I reply now? Yeah. Why are you contradicting yourself? So, is the question. So I'm not contradicting myself. How not? And the reason why I'm not contradicting myself is because despite the brother saying that he's not an expert, he gave the game away. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. He said, in Islamic teaching, we are told to set slaves free, yeah. which means we accept that, that Islam we does, go we accept that we have slaves, which means that oh, Islam, no, 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 which no, means that, notice they're interrupting, notice, notice they're interrupting, notice they're interrupting. No, I am going to speak. No, I am going to speak. Go and finish, go and finish. Let's have a discussion. They always demand that you are quiet when they speak. No, no, I said let you finish. when you speak, I keep saying let you finish, Notice the interruption. Let him finish. Notice the interruption. Notice the interruption. Notice the interruption. You have to give someone. Notice the interruption. Let him finish, let him finish. You finish. Are you done? Bob, you finish. Are you done? We're done. Are you done? We're done. We're asking for you to finish, Are you done? We're done. Good, thank you. So, and lower your voice. notice the interruption. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you actually like me to speak and give my answer? Yes. Okay. So, the brother gave the game away. 
whilst on one hand saying he wasn't an expert, yeah. he made two comments. Right. One, that we accept that we can have slaves, and two, Sharia law governs the releasing of slaves. Which means, to the question that I asked him, which is, does Sharia govern the keeping of slaves? What the was answer, my answer? What was my answer, notice the interruption. Yeah, yeah, don't mind uh, notice uh, the interruption. Uh, now finish. So in answer to the question, yeah. does Islam govern the keeping of slaves? Yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> now, because, Wait, notice the interruption. Yeah. Notice the interruption. Oh now, because Islam is an eternal law, that means that that law is applicable in the 7th century and the 21st century. Which means that Sharia law would and does govern slavery today. Not yesterday, not in the time of Muhammad, but right now. Okay, you finished? By contrast, the Bible commands slaves to pursue their freedom so does, so does. whenever they can. The so I challenge Muslim, Muslim sympathizer, Muslim and Muslim, bring forth your evidence that your sources say the same to slaves. Why doesn't the Bible, say, why doesn't the Bible command slave owners to free their slaves? Here we go. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer my question. Why, why, answer my question. Why, answer my question. Why, why, why doesn't the command... Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. So let me address this brother's point. Thank you. Please notice, however, that all of them declined to answer my question. What's your question? I'll answer your question. They wasn't even listening. I'll answer your question. He wasn't even listening. I'll answer your question. He wasn't even listening. I'll answer your question first and then I'll answer my question. He's going to answer my question right. first. But let's hope this Muslim sympathizer Whoa. will now address the question well, being asked. People. Show me in the Quran and Hadith where it commands slaves to pursue their freedom if they can, like the apostle instructs the slaves who are Christian. Okay, I can't I can't do that. That's the question. I can't do that. He can't okay. do it. Okay. okay, show me in the Bible. So, Why doesn't it say in the Bible and command slave owners to free their slaves and forbid slavery? Let Why me, doesn't it say that in the Bible? Let me, let me, if it doesn't say that, then the Bible condones let slavery. Me, let me and that's why the slaves are for 400 years. Let me years. highlight a point. Let me highlight a point, okay? Jesus, peace be upon him, he came before the Prophet Muhammad 600 years. When Muhammad came to the Arabia, he found Christian and the Jews have a slave. For 600 years, the Jews and the Christians didn't breed the slave. So Muhammad came, he was, he was solving the problem of the Arabs. He said, free your slave. That's so what it is. can I address this point? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the brother is making the argument that Christians were not freeing slaves. No, it's not. He doesn't know church history. Yes. He doesn't know about the saints. Can I answer my question? Notice their interruption. 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 They want to ask questions, but not listen to answers. You can't ignore. Notice. Notice. You can't ignore. Do you notice the heckling? Notice the heckling. Do you notice the ignorance? Every time I try to speak, I have to fight. The question. For my right to answer speak. Answer the question. <laughs> I answered your question. So, answer my your question. Taxi's here, by the way. So, answer the question. There are. There's one point to answer and one question. You said you'd answer my question first. I'll answer so I'll answer the question Thank first, yes. and yes. then I will address yes. Thank you. the That's point. What you said yes. you'd yes. Do. So, in the book of Philemon, let us just go into a bit of the history around the book of Philemon. Philemon was talking about. It is a letter written to a slave owner who was a Christian, who had a slave who was a Christian. And the slave ran away to Paul. Paul could not look after him, could not care for him, and could not sustain him. The slave could not sustain himself. And so the best thing that Paul could do was to send him back to the Christian slave owner he sold them back. with a letter the letter of Philemon in which it states and I quote for perhaps 
he was for this reason separated from you a while, that you would have him back forever, no longer as a slave. Did you all hear those words? This is Paul speaking. He's sending Philemon back. He's sending the slave back to Philemon. Listen, listen, listen. They don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. This one slave that you would have him back forever. No longer as a slave, but more than a slave as a beloved brother. Do you mistreat your beloved brother? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Show me the verse. I pity your brother. Show me the verse where, right. God, your where God commands you so, to free your slave. Now let me address this guy's it, point. It doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. Now let me address it this guy's exist. point. It doesn't exist. Now let me address this guy's oh, point. Because Listen. You may Concede! Listen! Concede! Listen! Concede! They don't want to listen! Concede your own! Because they are only interested in their own echo chamber! in the truth! You can't handle the Saint truth! St. John Christosom, an early church father, instructed the early church, listen to these commands! The Bible! Take from the Bible! To buy slaves! to teach them a trade <laughs> and to set them free <laughs> in America, say in the Bible. In that was St. John Christosom and he was writing before Muhammad was ever born but it doesn't say in the Bible Saint Augustine we don't have of Hippo we don't have cotton farms says that slavery is a nation of the devil you don't have cotton farms says that slavery is an expression of sin. We didn't kidnap 118 million Early Africans from Africa. Of the church Rubbish. would literally Rubbish. sell themselves into slavery. And say you're wrong. Use the money to buy slaves freedom. It became a good work practiced in the early church as instructed by the church fathers to set slaves free. It doesn't say that in the Bible. And this was all before Muhammad. But it doesn't say that in Finally, the Bible. Finally, okay, I have a question. My last point. Yeah. My last point. <laughs> After all of this evidence. What evidence? What evidence? What evidence? It doesn't say that in the Bible. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. After this, what my last point. Slavery. If we look at ah, Saudi Arabia, yeah, 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 yeah. a society dominated by Islam for 1400 years. Saudi Arabia is only 200 years. Man. They only, I said the, the society, not the state. No, yeah, they were not listening. Okay, I they were not listening. I have a question. You said Saudi Arabia. After 1400 years of Islam dominating Saudi Arabian society, Islam was only, sorry, slavery was only banned in Saudi Arabia in the 1900s. Okay. Which means that Muslims failed to see this great emancipist, Imam Hamamid, for what he was. They thought that slavery was fine. And why? Maybe they read the Bible Because they were following Muhammad. Okay, you made your point. You made your point. No, you made your point. Here's my question to you guys. You made your point. I have a question now. Here's my question to you guys. Oh, notice I don't get to ask any questions. You asked me a question. Go on, your question. You made your point, yeah? No. Now tell me this, tell me this. In Christianity, in Christianity, you just said that Christianity, Christianity commands slave, uh, slaves no, 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 no. to do what? He's got a heavy disagreement with Christianity, so he's fine. You said, you said Christianity <laughs> commands slaves to do what? Sorry, what? What, what does Christianity commands uh, slaves to do? It commands them to pursue their freedom wherever okay. they can. Okay, while in Islam, Islam doesn't command slaves to do that because it's already forbidden to, to have slaves. You get that? So it's already forbidden. Abraham had so, slaves. So, so Abraham had slaves. It's not. And it's in the Bible, it's in the Quran. And all the Abrahamic religions, they all support slavery. They, and you can't no. say that it doesn't. And you, uh, and you can't hold that Quran and say it doesn't because in they Islam, all do. In Islam, it forbids slavery. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes, and it even does. does the Bible. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm the living proof. 
you, I'm the are, living you, are you a, fla- a slave that was set free? Did I I'm a Muslim. Hold on. 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 You, you, would you cut? Do you see me as a slave, yes or no? No. Then I'm a living proof that Islam and me for saying it, that Islam forbids Go slavery. and look up the Janissaries and the Islam Mamluks. Islam forbids slavery. Go and look up the Janissaries and the Mamluks. This is it, this is it, this is it. So, this is it. the brother is asked it. the question. You can't just ignore. Where does the Christian you faith can't, you can't just condemn ignore. the slave trade? Listen carefully, this is for agnostic, sympathetic to Muslims, got a problem with Christians. <laughs> Are you listening carefully? We don't have a problem. Are you no, listening? Yeah. Excuse me. We don't have a problem with this. Paul, in. Are you? Can you not interrupt? Can you not interrupt? Can you not interrupt? Can you not interrupt? No, I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak to him. No. One thing you said. No. Listen. One thing you said. Paul, writing in his letter to Timothy, lists those who stand outside of the faith. Listen. He killed a lot of Christians. Listen. Paul. This is the list that he gives, condemned, but we know that the Lord is good if one uses it lawfully, realizing the fact that law is not made for a righteous person, but for those who are lawless and rebellious, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and the profane, for those who kill their fathers or mothers, for murderers for immoral men and homosexuals and kidnappers. The word kidnappers that is translated here is referring to those who take slaves. Rubbish. That Rubbish. is what he's referring to. You're looking for something no, like no, Those no, no, who no, kidnap no, and no, take no, slaves. No, no, no. And liars and perjurers is contrary to sound teaching. Did Abraham have slaves? So Paul instructs. Listen carefully, because you are an ignorant man. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. You are an ignorant man. Did Abraham have slaves? You tell me, wise one. Listen, old wise one. Tell me. Did Abraham have slaves? Listen. Listen. Did Abraham have slaves? Answer the question. Listen. I'm listening. Paul command slaves to pursue their freedom. Ah, but not the Paul slave owners. Command not slave owners. owners to treat their slaves nice. not <laughs> as slaves, but as brothers. Why didn't he command Paul co- condemns those who kidnap people and take them as slaves. I challenge the Dawah team to show me in the Quran versus equivalent to this. Did Abraham have slaves? In answer to the question. Did Abraham have slaves? Yes, he did. Do we have to follow Abraham? Ignorant one. He doesn't want to. And this, ladies and gentlemen, that, that's not, this, is, this is the kind of ignorance that we have to deal with at the park. This is, this is a kind of ignorance. Do Christians follow Abraham or Jesus? Answer the question. Is I follow Jesus. Is Abraham, Abraham a perfect man? Did Jesus have any slaves? What did Jesus say Answer about the slavery? question. What did Jesus I've answered multiple slavery? questions of yours. Answer mine. Did Jesus have any slaves? I don't know because he didn't say anything about slavery. Did, did he, he have any slaves? You tell me what he said about slavery. There is no evidence at all Jesus that say, Jesus had did Jesus any slaves. Abraham is not meant to be a perfect man. He's not written as a perfect man. My example is my Lord, my Saviour, my God, my King, and my friend, Jesus Christ. Who uh, had no slaves? Ask Bob. Ask but Bob. now let me ask you this question. Oh, sympathizer Bob? with the Dawah oh, no, I'm the ignorant one. <laughs> yeah, you are the ignorant one. Yeah, that's right. You insult me. Did Muhammad have slaves? Huh? I don't care. know. <laughs> Go and look <laughs> into it. Same as Abraham. Go and look did. into it. Probably he did, same as Abraham. I can't say for certain. Do you think he being slaves is a good example? Well, like Abraham. We don't follow Abraham. Do you think? What did Jesus say about slaves? Answer my question. Is keeping slaves a good example? Right, so go and look into whether Jesus had slave, whether Muhammad had slave, and ask yourself. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Which is the best slave? What did Jesus say about slavery? He said, Jesus said, free the slaves. 
I he says, command people to free slaves. I he says, you say that. Where does he say it? And then you tell the gospel. Did Jesus say anything about freeing slaves? Are you a fucking old fool? He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, did his silence mean that he can get his over it? Yeah. So, what he said, what about the caliphates? What about the Ottoman caliphate? What about the Andalusian caliphate? What about the Mohammedan caliphate? What about the Imadian caliphate? What about the caliphate of ISIS? All of these caliphates had slaves. What didn't Jesus say about slavery? Every single one. And yet, what we have are a group of people trying to legitimize as an example compared to Christ those that had slaves. I also said the Andalusian Caliphate, the Ottoman Caliphate, the Umayyad Caliphate and the Mohammedan Caliphate. They all had slaves. You're saying I'm wrong. You're saying Mohammed didn't have slaves. Mohammed did not have slaves. Oh dear. When Mohammed comes to the Arabia, the Christian and the Jews have slaves. Did Muhammad have slaves? Let's go his hand yes or no? Yes or no. Did he have slaves? No, it's not, not so, not so, so he didn't have slaves. I refer to this brother and I refer all those who think like this brother to go and check Sahih al Bukhari 7142 and 3138, in which Muhammad clearly addresses a black slave. He calls him the worst possible leader. He says that he will be in hell. Mohammed had black slaves. He called him a ship. Why did he call him a ship? Because his shoulders were so broad, he could carry so much for Mohammed that he called him a ship. How ironic that the nation of Islam hates the Christian faith because their ancestors were carried on ships when Mohammed referred to a black slave as a ship. What color was the, what color that is what he says. says. What My color was says. He says, I am lying. lying. You will see in the I'll comments section I am not. Yeah. Read Sahih Al Bukhari. Okay. Okay. 72, did Muhammad, 63, did Muhammad Sahih al-Bukhari, 61, we heard you. 61, yes. Sahih al-Bukhari, 71, 42, 30, Sahih al-Bukhari, 31, 38. Did Muhammad they say I'm making it up. Did Muhammad free the slave? All of these hadiths are called Sahil. He sold slaves. He traded slaves. He sold two black slaves for one Arab slave. Go and read your hadith. You're lying to people. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm afraid I gotta go. So why are you coming back to Islam then? Uh, there were Muslims no. who no, no, no. converted. Why there were Muslims who converted to Christianity in the first century of Islam amongst the immigrants who went to Ethiopia. This man saying, I can't remember the Quran says. Go and look it up. Go and do a bit of research. Go and do a bit of research. Go and do a bit of research. The Quran says that. He says the Quran says the slave should be free. Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Go and where's the verse? Oh, oh. So when I don't show them the verse, they say, oh, this is just your opinion. But when they don't show the verse, I have to accept their opinion. This is the double standard of the Dawah team. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do better than Islam. We can do better than Sharia law. It was uh, Britain that ended slavery around the globe. Did more than any other country in the world to end slavery. Slavery was ended even before William Wilberforce. No, no, no. As early as around the world, the British Empire did not end slavery. Absolutely. Not anyone else. By the influence of Christians like William Wilberforce. Who put them under pressure? Who put them under pressure? 
Yeah, pressure. Oh, yeah. I know uh, what group are they in? What group? Sorry, say it. Say it. What group? What? Thank you. Thank you. And who was William Wilberforce? William Wilberforce was not a Quaker. William Wilberforce was not a Quaker. Because of the Bible verses that William Wilberforce, know your history. He says William Wilberforce was a Quaker. I'm going to correct him. William Wilberforce was part of the Clapham sect. And that the was an Anglican movement. If the Bible they were called the Clapham me, sect because they would meet in if, Clapham yeah, and right. because they emphasized the incarnation if over the, the Bible, crucifixion. Learn not, your history. Listen, if the Bible, you didn't know anything of what I've to told you. You're not listening to me. I've heard your Bible, rhetoric. I've heard it for an hour. Bad, the, the keeping of slaves then the slave trade may, may not happen. Christians were fighting against the slave happen. trade as early as but the church happen. fathers. The Bible you are an ignorant man. Everywhere. But the Bible didn't Go and read slavery. what St. John Christopher said. The slave trade was happening everywhere. That would be and they my, took uh, the verses yeah. from the but Bible the brother, to say that the it brother was okay. simply The brother's got an issue with Christians. And he's got an issue with Christianity. So he just wants to attack Christianity. I'm not attacking Christianity. And what he doesn't know, what he doesn't know, what he doesn't know is that as early as it is, Okay, now listen, you wanted the verse. Yeah. St. John Christosophon. St. John, I'm speaking yeah. to him now. Listen, he it's as early as the 3rd century. St. John Christosophon. St. John Christosophon. St. John Christosophon. So I'll speak to you guys. St. John Christosophon commands. Buy slaves, teach them a trade, set them free. Yeah. Christians were setting slaves free by their thousands yeah. as before the Roman Empire converted to the Christian faith. When the Christian faith became the dominant religion in the Roman Empire, by the 5th century, the slave trade had collapsed within the Roman Empire and it existed only in pockets. By the 5th century, that's two centuries before Muhammad. Yeah. These guys don't know the history. And from, from what I'm aware, they, they don't I know. I mean, They're ignorant. I mean, if we look at the story of Exodus, where it tells Muslims, where it tells slaves to pursue their freedoms. No, 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 not to tell slaves to pursue their freedom. They need to tell the slave owners to free their slaves. It's, uh, sort of invalid. Yeah, yeah, okay, go on. And what difference does it make if you tell a slave to pursue your freedom? That's pointless. Well, yeah. yeah. okay. You're going to have to cut to the main point because I've got to go. Okay. He said, that is a free in slave. All right, okay, right. So, so hold on, hold on. His argument is. Commanding the Muslim to free the slave. Hold on, one second. Because when Muhammad he wants to listen to what he wants he to listen to. So no, I, will, I will listen. I, I, I'll speak here, okay? Because he didn't want to listen to a reply. What, what, let's be clear about what evidence. Yeah, you don't want to listen, bro, and everyone can see it. Everyone can see you don't really want to listen. You're a, you are an ignorant man, but you're a full coat. So, you are. Well. Well. So let me. Can I speak? Yeah, I'm listening to right. you. So let let let's just be clear about what that verse means. Yeah. Like what what I already said much earlier in this conversation. If this man had bothered to listen, which he didn't, was that I know in Sharia law it instructs the freeing of slaves. My criticism. Firstly, no Muslim would argue that Islam is based just on the Quran. They would say that it's the Quran and the Hadith. Okay. And in the use of the Quran and the Hadith, it governs the keeping, the buying, the capturing, the using, the treatment, and the freeing of slaves. If that is an eternal law for all mankind, in all places and in all times, that means that it is instituted within Sharia law to capture, to free, to buy, to sell and to treat slaves by contrast. If you had bothered to listen to anything I had said, the Christians had almost caused the slave trade to collapse in the Roman Empire by the 5th century. Two centuries before Islam. You see? You see? He never wants he never wants to deal with the evidence. He just wants to move on to the next criticism. This is why this brother is a full cup. Because he doesn't want to engage with the evidence. I am the transatlantic slave trade is evidence that what you're talking about is nonsense. You're talking about the Romans banning slavery and then he No, he doesn't want to listen. He doesn't want to listen. He is a full cup. A Christians were banning. You are, you are, a, you are, bro. You are. Christ Himself said. Christ Himself said. Listen, listen. Full cup. Listen. 
Christ himself said, Oh, you Pharisees and Sadducees, you are like whitewashed tombs. You are nice and bright on the outside, but on the inside you are dead bones. Okay. He called them vipers. Uh -huh. Christ okay. was not afraid and to call I, people what they I are. Why do I deserve to be I, insulted? You, why do I deserve to be because insulted? Because you have stood here. I'm looking for you the have, truth. You're not broke. I am looking you're for You're not the truth. broke. Because I all you I'm have done. I'm asking you what it says in the Bible. All, and I've shown you. Yeah, you showed and me then that you it doesn't. Listen. I show, you showed me that it doesn't say in the Bible to command that slavery be ended. It doesn't say that. It, it didn't says say, to slaves. It says to pursue slaves, your well, that's freedom. Pointless. That's to pursue pointless. your freedom. Why didn't it tell slave owners to free your slaves and ban it slavery? It condemns slave capturing. It's it can list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. It lists amongst those who will go to hell those who capture slaves. Did you hear that? No. Why? It's because a, you are a full cop and you're telling you don't me that the Bible want to listen. Slave owners I will down. say it to you no, again. No, the the ship, I will the ship, say it to you going. again. Show me the Bible. I will say it to you again. I want to know. Ship, I will say it to you again. I will say it to you again. Brother, I will say it to you again. Do you want to listen to me or Jesus Christ? Right. Jesus Christ. I gave it to you, but you were too busy shouting like an ignorant man to hear me. And you are a full cup because you're not listening now. I want to know. Are you listening now? Are you listening now? Tell me what it is. Okay. The scriptures that I gave you earlier, which you will now have to watch on Soko Films to listen. I want to know the Bible verse. Not listening. Not listening. I just want to know the Bible Are you listening? Tell me the Bible verse. Give okay, me the Bible uh, verse he doesn't want to listen, so I'll say to you. Because you don't guys. have the Bible verse, because I it doesn't gave, exist. I gave a verse, and you can all listen to it on Soko Films. I gave no, the reference. You can tell. Don't, don't it you was, know the Bible verse? It was in Timothy. Hint. So it was in Timothy. Timothy. Yes. So you can't tell me the Are you Bible listening? Verse? Listen, where does it say in right? the Bible no, that slave owners will be condemned to hell? It says I want that, to know where it says that. No, uh, listen bro. No, no, it doesn't say. I'm so going to submit to you. Do you mind. guys want to hear what keep I have to say? Keep your Bible in yeah. the Bible because right. it doesn't say right. that. So this, I'm not going to talk over this guy anymore. He doesn't want to listen. He doesn't want to give me the in Bible. In the scriptures. Verse. I think it was in 1 Timothy chapter 1. In the scriptures, so called films. In the scriptures, so -called so -called in the scriptures guys. They're trying to listen to me. Stop being rude. You're an ignorant man. These people want to listen to me. Stop being rude. You're a preacher of the truth in the Bible. Can't so, give me a Bible in the, I did, you weren't listening. Oh, so you can't give it to me again. You weren't listening. I'm is not going secret? to give it to is you again. Is there a secret? Right. So, in the scriptures, it lists amongst those who are going to hell, it lists a whole bunch, and it lists kidnappers as those oh, going kidnappers. to hell. The word in the kidnappers. Greek is used in oh. other ancient documents oh, okay. so to refer that. to those who kidnap so people for the purpose of slavery. So, your interpretation. so it doesn't say as slave I said, owners. the it brother is an ignorant man. Okay. He doesn't I'll want to listen Fine, and he doesn't want to deal with I the want evidence. To know what it says in the I Bible. have to go. Yeah, Good night. See you later. God Go bless. Your misinterpretation of the Bible and of the Quran. People can they decide for themselves. And you God bless. The Bible. What, we, what we've seen is that once again we have uh, Muslims disagreeing with their own holy text and the example of their prophet. And that's a good thing. It shows they have a conscience and it shows that their conscience is better than their book. But the evidence is clear that Islam teaches that you can take people as slaves. And we've seen Muslims talk about that, even in trying to defend it. They moved between saying that slavery wasn't practiced in Islam, is one taught in Islam, to then saying that Muhammad governs the freeing of slaves. And they then started to give Quranic references and talk about hadiths without actually giving any hadiths. Which proves that this eternal system of law does permit slavery. By contrast, the Christian community born in a time when they had no political power, no ability to force change upon society, preach things like telling slaves to pursue their freedom, telling slave owners to treat their slaves not as slaves, and condemning those who kidnap people for the purpose of slavery. Christians were practicing this faith. They were setting slaves free, some of our great saints, and I'm not going to try and guess their names because they're all Roman names and they're very difficult, but I invite you to do a Google search and you'll find the names yourself. Set slaves free by their thousands. And if you find those examples, I invite you to stick them in the comment section and I invite JC to pin it to the top so everyone can see it. So Christians were setting slaves free before the Roman Empire became Christian. Then when the Roman Empire became Christian, we saw that the emperors started to govern slavery in a Christian way. 
So, for example, um, I'm going to say Theodosius, but I'm not sure. It could be Justinian. Commanded that um, if you kill your slave, it's like killing a free man. Um, they restricted the buying and selling of slaves. Christians continue to set slaves free. And eventually, when the whole of the Christian society became Christian, the slave trade in the Roman Empire had all but collapsed and was seen as distasteful, as seen as something unwanted. Now, by contrast, at the birth of Islam, when Islam came to dominate the Arabian Peninsula, and was unrivaled in that geographical space, rather than, rather than prohibit slavery, um, the, 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 the Saudi Arabian society practiced slavery, took slaves from Europe, took slaves from um, Saudi Arabia. The result of that was that the slave trade continued and has continued until for, for 1400 years. Janissaries were European slaves. Malmaluks were also European, um, um, Asia, sort of like um, Asian Cauca um, Caucasus slaves, yeah. I think, if I'm getting my geography right. They took slaves from Africa. Christians were banning slavery and continue to ban slavery because of the historical processes connected to pagans invading Europe and reintroducing the slave trade. Christians fought again against the slave trade. And you see evidence that Christians One second, well, one second. You, you see evidence again amongst Christians that we were banning slavery in the 8th century, the 9th century, the 10th century, the 11th century. Again, at this time, Muslims continue to do the slave trade, even though they had vast empires and could have banned slavery like that. Now, you have to ask yourself this question. Why did the emancipation movement, the ending of slavery, happen with William Wilberforce and not Abdul Hakim? As a mythical Muslim from the 1700s. The reason is because in Christianity you have every reason to end the slave trade but in Islam you have none. Christ said you shall know them by their fruits and by their fruits you shall know them. I'm not saying that all Muslims agree with slavery. I'm saying that Islam teaches it. I'm saying that the practice of Islam over 1400 years shows that and the practice of Christians shows that we're very much and always have been against slavery. Know them by their fruits. Amen.